It sounds a little like self-help. <laughs> Earn thousands of dollars by doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> that sounds like a bestseller. Mm -hmm. Fox 26's Ned Hibbert has a story from the University of Texas Medical Branch in Galveston. The uh, preparation we had training the team. Space flight. It isn't for the faint of heart, ask any returning astronaut. Battling the debilitating impact of prolonged weightlessness is a challenge. But at NASA's Flight Analog Research Unit, it's a challenge they're not taking lying down. Or are they? How we can mitigate effects of space flight, effects of being on the moon. And the best way to mimic the weightlessness of space, it turns out, in technical terms, is six degrees head down for 90 days. For Heather Archuleta and other test subjects in NASA's bed rest study, that means three months solid, head tilted slightly below feet to simulate zero gravity. It's very relaxing at times. This is probably the, the most I've sat still in 10 years. Um, I'm real type A. Except here, A stands for atrophy. Subjects lose muscle mass and as much as 6% of their bone density during their 90 days stuck in bed. Then scientists can see what works to rebuild their bodies with an eye toward the sky. If they work here on the ground, chances are they're going to work up in space. Meantime, test subjects do their work flat on their backs. They even shower in a mesh bed with their head below their feet. Why would anyone agree to waste away for science? Did I mention the money? About $17,000 for the course of the experiment, which is four full months when you count preparation and recovery time. It's like a job, but you get to be really lazy. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to help out the space program, keep astronauts more healthy so we can make it to Mars. DMB Galveston, I'm Ned Hibbard, Fox 26 News. Heather Archuleta is blogging about her experience in the bed rest study. You can read her blog or apply to take a part in the study yourself. Just visit our homepage, myfoxhouston.com.